Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Derail Valley. I'm your host and creator, Nexus, and uh, this is the latest update. Uh, it has uh, put in, it's fixed some things with uh, clipping and some more stuff with uh, the tracks and stuff. There is no more vegetation or rocks inside of the tracks. It has all been, but it has all but been removed, at least according to the update. We're going to find out today. Uh, they've done some fixes with the shovel and whatnot. Listen to this. That's pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, the biggest thing that we're going to test out today is uh, they have fixed the brakes again with uh, the trains and the derailments. Uh, the bigger, the heavier cars used to buckle the, sm the lighter cars by pushing against them and forcing them off the tracks. They have now fixed that, and we're going to test that today. Well, why don't you join me back after the intrepid intro, and uh, we'll get that underway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, and uh, now we're going to release the brakes and let the Yardmaster know that we're leaving. I think it's pretty clear that we're leaving. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so we're not taking an actual job because the job I wanted doesn't exist at this station, and these cars don't even have a job for them. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is uh, we're just going to test the brakes and uh, the derailment physics and uh, see if they've fixed all the bumps, <laughs> like the bump on the loop that cost us to lose our cargo the last time, if they fixed all the tracks, the debris and everything. I've also noticed that they have moved the vegetation closer to the tracks to make it mo uh, look more um, authentic and realistic. Now, the vegetation is not on the tracks, but it's actually next to the tracks. It makes it look more real, like kind of like that. See how it kinda, they moved it closer versus being all spread out out there? That's pretty cool. Let's look at our map and see where we're going. Okay, we'll just go left, I guess. <laughs> Since uh, we kind of missed going right. Do we want to go right anyway? No. Sure didn't. All right, we're just going to keep going along this uh, little trajectory here. See what happens. Uh, there we go. There we go. Ha! Ah. Uh, by the way, I am going to be recreating the um, the unstoppable uh, runaway train scene. And I'm going to be using the steam locomotive as the runaway, uh, as requested by Stephanie. And I'm going to be using the, rec the remote controlled shunter as uh, 1406, or 1206, whichever one it was, I can't remember, um, to hook up to the train at the back and attempt to slow it down before it derails. There's no guarantee that that's going to work, folks. This is a video game and not a movie. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to pull it off exactly and stop the train after the Stanton curve. Um, I still need to decide exactly where I'm going to stage this at. I actually like how they have moved the vegetation closer to the tracks. It makes it look a lot more interesting, a lot more real. Um, I'm not exactly sure how or where I'm going to stage this uh, operation at. I need to look around the map some and find out where the best candidate uh, for such things would be. And then once I have that figured out... Ooh, that's 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 not good. Okay. Once, <laughs> once I have that figured out, I'll go around and... Uh, try and find some cars that I can hook up together. Uh, I know I can just like make cars up here, and that's probably what we'll do. Probably won't waste a whole lot of time. Um. Hello? <laughs> that's a little dangerous. I think I won't waste a whole lot of time putting a train together because some of you know has all the cars. As far as I know, it looks like it has all the cars that might have been in um, Unstoppable. Anyway, the point is, is that that will be down the road a little bit. It's going to take me a while to, you know, film that out and cut that together and piece it together and make it ready for people to watch it. So until then, we'll be testing out new mods, or I'm sorry, new mods. We'll be testing out new updates and you know track uh, stuff, and we got the hazmat uh, missions coming soon, and that'll be fun. Uh, biohazard material being transported by train. What could be funner than that? Uh, how about a derailment of mass destruction? Yeah, that would be very, that would be quite fun. Uh, anyway, uh, Operator Nexus on top of the train, about to cross the bridge over the River Kwai. Haha, -ha, that was the name of an episode uh, not too long ago, and I believe this is the same bridge too. All right, so what we really want to test here is wait for us to start going downhill, which I don't think is going to happen until we pass the steel mill. Um, 
But yeah, what we really want to test is going downhill at a fast speed and kind of throwing the brakes a little bit because what has caused us to derail in the past, they say, has now been fixed and should no longer cause us to derail. So that's fun. Uh, and that's pretty much what we're trying to figure out here. All right, we are going pretty quickly. Oh, I like, I love how they have moved the vegetation closer. It looks so real. Oh, it looks so real. I'm sorry. I apologize. I just get a little, I get a little excited sometimes. Okay, I can hear the grindy grindy. Everything copacetic? Everything's copacetic. Uh, can I crouch? I can. I want to see what's coming up. What, what, what's coming up? What are we up against up here? Doesn't look like a whole lot. I heard the bell ding, which means that, yeah, we're almost out of coal. We need to fill that up because if not, we're in trouble. I like the whole scooping noise that they've added. That's awesome, devs. Thank you. Adds to some validity and some realistic, uh, real, uh, whatever that word is. Oh, no! I don't even know how fast we're going. I didn't even check. We're going pretty fast, though. I can tell just by how fast the vegetation is whipping past our fa our eyeballs. We are, ooh, we are going pretty fast. I mean, hey, if it works, it works, right? Uh, we probably got to go be going about 40 kph. Yeah, about 40 kph. Can you confirm that? Uh, I can't because I'm not in the train. I'm not in the engine right now. I am too busy out here wondering and loving the views. I will be doing a um. I will be doing a an episode maybe next week. Um, what is a safe number of cars to haul? And uh, we'll be going over that. Uh, together in a video and uh, we'll be taking the exact number of safe cars to haul um, downhill basically because uphill is fine as long as you have the speed for an uphill uh, for an uphill gander then you're fine if you make it to the top of the hill and level off before the train loses its oomph then you're good if not well even a steam train rolls backwards and crashes into a ravine from time to time uh, so yeah there's that but uh yeah I'll be doing uh, what's safe to haul um, especially for going downhill because um, that seems to be where most of the trouble was. The heavier cars push against the, the lighter cars and push us through switches and around corners faster than we want to, and it has even caused us to derail from time to time. Okay, well, we're going to go check that out at some point. Not today. I keep saying that, I know. But it'll happen. We need to go check that out, too, but not today. I know I keep saying that, too, but it'll happen. All right. Um, I don't know. This is uphill. Oh yeah, we're almost at 60. We need to slow it down. We could very well derail right here. It's very possible. This is the derailment area that we derailed at before, so it wouldn't surprise me. Ah, they removed all the vegetation completely from the tracks. There used to be... Gr that kind of vegetation wasn't bothersome, devs. It's the big lumps in the track and the rocks and stuff that cause us to derail, not the grass. The grass has never caused me to derail. Um, bumpy stuff, like the lump on the loop, that was something that needed to be fixed. Which uh, you guys have fixed. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. No, 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 no. Don't you even... Don't you dare... You do not have permission to slow down. No, 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 no. Do not slow down. Lest I smite you and your entire uh, fleet of steam engines. Come on, come on, come on. This is like the perfect opportunity. We must go faster. All 
There we go. All right. Looks like we got some steel cars waiting, flatbed cars for with some steel on it, and looks like something's ready to be. That's iron ore. Oh, it's ready to be fed into the facility. It's an uh, it's a shunting job, an unload. Well, yeah, it's an unload job. We've not really done a whole lot of those because the things were. The, um, the unload and load things were broken, but I read in the patch notes and the change log that they have fixed that now, so we will be doing some missions like that in the near future. In the days to come. Yeah, alright, this is going to be the first moment of truth. We're already going 60. Hopefully we don't derail here. Moment of truth. Well, we haven't derailed yet. That's a good sign. I didn't want to go that way. That was toward the farm. I want to go this way. Let's look at the world map again. We're going to try for Forest South. That means we need to go right here. Oh, well, not here, because you can't go right here. Right. All right. Throw it, slow the throttle down here a bit. We're going uphill a little bit, so. Oh, they've called it a locomotive remote now. I thought it was a shunter remote. Might have been. Could have already been locomotive, and I just looked at it. Don't remember and looked at it wrong. Come on. Kick that ass into gear. You've definitely got more umph than, you sh than you're, you're letting on there, train. I'm not impressed. I could, I could strap these cars to a rope to my waist and get them up the hill faster than you can. Because why? Because you're steam and you're weak. Diesel trumps all. Why? Because it's way more powerful. Come on! Move your ass! No, 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 no. I don't want to hear excuses and complaints. Move your ass now. That was. This is not a request. We need to go right, and it looks like it's facing right. Awesome. Cool. Oh, hurry up. Must go faster. Uh, I don't know what's off that way. Oh, that's just another way to get down to the dock. Alright. We got some straightaway for a while, so I'm going to throw this into gear. Why are we slowing down? We should not be slowing down for any reason. All right, here we go. Hey now, stop throwing me off the damn train. This is my train. Well, this, this, is a, this is a test, so we need to actually find out what the train is capable of. And if that means we have to stand back here to do it, then so be it. Let's get back on the last car, actually. 
No! Holy moly. Alright, so that's the oil place over there. Looks like the, the wells. Which means, is there a refinery? That's Oil Well Central. Oil Well North is probably the refinery. Huh, interesting. Anyway, it looks like we're picking up speed again. Oh, they have really moved the trees and stuff closer. I want to reach out and grab one of those leaves. Come on, let's go. What's the problem? What's the holdup? No, I am not Denzel Washington. At least not right now. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and I'm definitely not Steven Seagal. There's an idea! Oh, no! No! Oh. Yeah, there's an idea. Um... Can build a pet. We can build a. Uh, <laughs> can build an Amtrak, um, a passenger train, and uh, recreate the. Uh, recreate the the Under Siege 2 Dark Territory train tra train wreck on the bridge at the end. Uh, there's something that I'm going to be doing too. So um, yeah, I got lots of stuff to look forward to. Shunting missions and new jobs and hazardous material transport and biohazard transport, nuclear waste kind of thing. Um, and then on top of that, we've got bridges like this where we can crash, you know, two, um, we can crash an oil train into a passenger train and watch the devastation. How fun would that be? I think that would be pretty cool. All right, we need to go check on the engine stuff. Hello. I did not want to stick my face in there and melt it off. Thank you very much. It looks like looks like we're slowing down. Okay. There do that. We're dumping some of the steam because I think it's preventing us from going faster because there's just too much in the in the build or in the, the tank. There we go. Now we seem to be moving a lot faster. Oh yeah, we're moving way faster than we were. I don't know how well this is going to... This is not going to go down well. Oh, this is it. We're done. We didn't even take into consideration that there was a hill in the corner here. We very well could go off the edge here. I'm going to try and make it back to the engine. Looks like the brakes work a lot better. Ooh, yeah, the brakes work really good. All right, so no more train, no more buckling of the cars, meaning that bigger, heavier cars pushing down, push bearing down on us going down a hill do not buckle the other cars and throw them off the rails. That is an awesome improvement to the update. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh my God, here we go. All right, looks like the tra looks like everything has been updated. Here's the moment of truth right here. Let's get up on the train. Uh-oh. 
It's gonna be bad. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh shit, no! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh my god. Well, that was our, that was, uh, that was, um, no, that was engineer error. Wow, look at this. What devastation. Yeah, that, that corner, we should have been prepared to be slowed down on that corner, and when that didn't happen, well, when that didn't happen, <laughs> that's, that was all she wrote. I'm surprised this one's still halfway on the tracks. Where'd the rest of the cars go? Oh, they're over here. They were slung out of alignment with the rest of the train and sent crushing down the hill. Wow, there's even a thing down here. How did you get in front of the engine there, bro? Wow, you definitely took a tumble, didn't you, bro? Holy shit. All right, well, yeah. the train is still steaming. It's probably still burning. Oh, I can still mess with the controls, even though... So, everything is uh, pretty much still operational. Uh, the only problem is, is that uh, it's not on the rails. So, uh, that's a problem. Well, unfortunately, uh, that's going to wrap it up, folks, uh, for this one. I'm going to do another speed test, uh, probably in, a, in another episode. Uh, some corner and braking and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, as you can see, the brakes have been... Uh, fixed to uh, balance out across the load of the entire train and um, they all at all the the train and the cars all seem to tr apparently uh, seem to try to stop with the same amount of force on the wheels and cars so to prevent derailments however sharp corners at high speed still require derailment uh, thank you very much for joining me in this one if you enjoyed it please leave me a like and a thumbs up hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already I can only, the chaos can only get better from here, folks. I've been Nexus, and this has been DRL Valley. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.